Hi guys, so before I launch into your Money Monday video, I've got two very quick updates for you. The budgeting app is on its way. It will be ready in July, August. It's taken a little bit longer than expected, but I promise you it's worth the wait. The second update is around the $1,000 project book. Now you guys have been sending in the most incredible stories, sharing with me your progress, your goals, your roadblocks, your challenges in doing the $1,000 project. And I have been so touched and so amazed at the mission and the passion behind you guys doing the $1,000 project. Now I'm about 90% of the way through writing this book and this is your last chance to share with me your story if you'd like to have it considered to be published in your book. I have to say, I have just been so blown away by listening to your stories and the amazing things that you guys have accomplished for yourselves and for your family in doing the $1,000 project. So whether you've got a little story or a big story, I would love to hear from you. So there's a dedicated email address in the description box below. So if you feel ready to share your story with me, I would love to hear it. And I know the readers would love to hear it as well. All right, so let's bring on Money Monday. Now, if you're one of those people out there who feels that they live paycheck to paycheck, hand to mouth, you are not alone. One in five Australians live in this way. Now, living paycheck to paycheck means that when you get paid, you use up all the money during that pay cycle, and just before the next pay kicks in, you're scrambling around for your last couple of dollars, barely getting through. It is an incredibly stressful way to live your life, and it doesn't need to be this way. When you are living paycheck to paycheck, it is really hard to actually get out of debt if you are in debt. The idea of creating some emergency savings is, seems so far-fetched. And other financial goals like saving up money to go on a holiday or upgrading a car or maybe even saving a deposit for a home seems like a ridiculous, crazy dream that could never be accomplished. And you don't even allow yourself to entertain the idea or dream of investing or having a nice retirement. So if you find that you're one of those people on the merry-go-round and it's getting faster and faster and you're really not liking this way of life, this video is for you. I'm going to show you not only how to slow down that merry-go-round, but stop it so that you can choose to get off it and stay off it for good. So for this video, I'm sharing with you seven really simple steps to follow that are going to get you off the rat race and loving life again. Step number one is to recognize. You need to actually step back and realize that you have created this situation for yourself. You are the one choosing to live paycheck to paycheck. There are no more excuses. Enough is enough. And you are now realizing and acknowledging that you deserve better. And you now know that you are ready to step up and make a difference. Now, this is an incredibly important step because this is where the biggest and most important powerful growth kicks in for you. This is about you acknowledging your responsibilities and what exists within you to create a much better future for yourself. And from this, you're going to get just a little inkling as to what you are capable of achieving. Step number two is to do a budget. You need to know exactly where all your hard earned money is going because this is why you have created this situation where you're living paycheck to paycheck. Now, by doing a budget, you actually write down where your money goes. It means that you are consciously aware of where your cash is flowing. And because of that, you can make some very powerful and conscious decisions and changes to create a different outcome. Now, if you've never done a budget, it's okay. If you head to the Sugar Mama website and subscribe, you will get a complimentary budget emailed to you shortly after subscribing. That is a basic template and has all the living expenses that you could possibly imagine, so you will not miss a thing. Once you've completed that budget, you then need to go through it and really question every single expense, whether you really value it and whether you really need it. Understanding Maslow's pyramid when it comes to needs and wants will really help give you that perspective again. Those thigh-high leather Gucci boots this season are, yes, you may want them, but they're not really a need. Being able to put a roof over your head and pay this month's rent is far more important. Those boots get parked at the bottom of the list. You've got more serious stuff to achieve. Step number three is new you, new habits. No more wandering around the aimlessly the department stores or shopping malls or shopping online while you sit on the sofa at night time. That's it. There's also no more keeping up with the Joneses. You're gonna say no to that because you no longer prescribe to that load of crap. You also learn how to say no, how to exercise some self-control and some self-discipline. Your new habit also includes paying your bills when they arrive so that you never forget about them. You give up the idea of competing with the Joneses because you realize it's a bottomless pit. You live humbly and with self-control and most importantly, self-love. And you do things that feed your happiness, like setting up a regular savings plan where you build up emergency savings in case something goes wrong. 
And as you see that bank account build up, you feel really good about yourself. You feel responsible. You feel like you're back in control and making stuff happen. A little but a very powerful thing called progress. And finally, because of these new habits, you start to understand why or how you created those really toxic old habits, which you can proudly say you've completely kicked to the curb. Step four is about downsizing. Now that you've got these new habits in place, you understand where your money goes, you start to really assess the values in your life and what is important. You may look at downsizing your home. You don't, may not need to rent that very expensive apartment each month. You may want to look at an apartment further away where the rent is a little bit cheaper. Or maybe you don't need that big house anymore. Maybe you can downsize into something more smaller and manageable. And of course, a lot cheaper. You may realize that that big flashy car that you have that expensive lease on is no longer a necessity. That actually you can go without it or downsize that car as well. Or simply you may look at your internet and pay TV packages and realize you don't need the maximum package. You can actually have just the basic level. Essentially, you're learning to live within your means because you're comfortable with the decisions you make and you realize and feel the benefits of these changes already. Step five is about setting goals for yourself. This is where you decide, you plan, and you put action in place. You make a decision to get out of debt. You make a decision to build up some savings. You make a decision to start investing. You make a decision to achieve specific detailed financial goals that are gonna better your life and your family's life. Step number six is to regularly review those goals. Because you've got this new supercharged self-control and self-discipline, you simply get stuff done. You are making incredible progress now. Progress that's in leaps and bounds and you're feeling really proud about yourself and rightly so. So as you review your progress, look at what's working and what's not working. Make the necessary tweaks and changes so that you become even more efficient and even more powerful. And of course, remain dedicated and focused to achieving each individual goal as you go. And the second and final step for breaking that cycle of living paycheck to paycheck is recognize every single blessing, no matter how small or how big. Recognize the amazing feeling of no longer prescribing to this way of life. The lightness, the new energy, the sense of control, the sense of freedom, the sense of progress, even the better and deeper quality night's sleep. These are all things that will happen to you when you step up and say, enough's enough, I hate living this way and I deserve better and I'm going to make it happen. Now, if you want this way of life, I really believe that you are perfectly capable of achieving. It's just a matter about being dedicated, determined, and putting the right action in place. Even if it is only one little thing that you can do each day that gets you closer and closer to your goal, being off the rat race, it all counts. And one thing's for sure, I really believe in you. So if you're ready to get off the rat race and you know someone who wants to as well, why don't you join forces and make each other accountable? And together you can join forces as you pull each other out of this toxic way of life to a much healthier and happier one. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe. And of course, you can join in on the $1,000 project to help break this cycle as well. So I'd better see you next week for Money Monday next week. Ciao.